is up YouTube, IDM here, and welcome back to another video. So I just wanted to make a video dedicated to tips and tricks about jailbreaking. Also, you could use this as kind of a jailbreak prep video, as there should be a ton of useful information packed into uh, this single video. I'm also going to put chapters down in the description, so if you need to jump to any point in the video, feel free to do so, as this could be very useful for a lot of you jailbreakers in the future. There's a few things I want to talk about in this video, and uh, I'm just going to kind of blast through it all, and hopefully you guys find it useful. Hopefully it saves some jailbroken iPhones out there, and uh, yeah, let's just jump into this. So first off, in jailbreak prep, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you are going after a target firmware, because the newest jailbreak, whenever it's released, is only going to support certain versions of iOS. Now this can be incredibly hard to predict, as we kind of seen with iOS 14, when Uncover was updated for 14.6 to 14.8, uh, that only supported iPhone XS models and iPhone 11 models. It did not support older iPhones and it did not support the iPhone 12. And you really can't predict that. That just sometimes things like that happen. Um, so it's very hard to predict. But what I like to mention in my jailbreak updates is that if you miss out on a jailbreak for, let's say, iOS 15, um, there will more than likely be a jailbreak for iOS 16. And I recommend that if you miss out on jailbreaks that much, the rule of thumb is to always stay on the lowest version possible and just stop updating your iPhone, and you should receive a jailbreak at some point. But if you want to try and target a firmware, I think that from year to year, the most promising versions is going to be x.0, so the very first version of that iOS, to dot one. So like 15.0 up to 15.1. That's a great range. So come iOS 16, I'd recommend to be on 16.0 up to 16.1. That's a great target version year to year. But like I said, the best rule of thumb is to stay on the lowest version possible. And that's really easy to do as well because all you have to do is go into your settings, go to software update and turn off automatic updates and your iPhone will no longer update. So that's a, that's a very hard thing to do with jailbreaks is targeting that version firmware. The next tip I got for you guys is how are you going to get the jailbreak application? How are you going to install it? Now there's a couple of methods to do this. The best method is to have a computer. Having a computer allows you to sideload applications by using Alt Store. You can use the Alt Store to install the Uncovered Jailbreak when it's released. Another method is Sideloadly. I've never used this utility. But from what I understand, it's very similar to the Alt Store. Those are two methods in which you can install apps with your own Apple ID and re-sign the jailbreak application using those methods as well. But like I said, both of those do require a computer. So for those of you that don't have a computer, pretty much what you have to do is you have to wait for a third-party app store to sign the app so that it's, it, it is available for you to download. Now the best one that I have found for this is jailbreaks.app, this website here. Now you have to basically wait for them to be signed and once they are, you can install the application. If they are not signed, the app will not work, it will just crash. So if you don't have a computer, unfortunately you have to wait longer for the jailbreak and you have to wait for this website to sign the application. Now a great way to know when they are being signed is from their Discord server. They do make an announcement when they are signed and at that point you can download the jailbreak app and use it. But now once you have the jailbreak app from the website, you want to take control of that application because like I said, the certificate is eventually going to get revoked and then Uncover is going to stop working when you have installed it from a website. So basically what will happen is the certificate will get revoked. You will go to open your jailbreak app and it'll just instantly crash. It'll just, it'll look like it opens and then it'll just instantly close and you can't do anything with it. That means the certificate is revoked. Now to prevent that, it's really easy. Get your jailbreak app, jailbreak your iPhone, go into Cydia or Zebra is what I like to use and install Reprovision Reborn. 
This will allow you to re-sign your own applications, similar to AltStore, but no computer is required. And of course, this is only available when you are jailbroken. On a side note, if you don't like Reprovision Reborn, you can install the Alt Store if you're jailbroken as well. This is the only way you can get the Alt Store without a computer, is you have to be in the jailbroken state on a jailbroken iPhone. Once you have the Alt Store, you also need the Alt Server. On a side note, Alt Server, eh. I'll just search Alt Store, it should show up, I would think. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's bundled with Alt Store, I'm not sure. Um, but you need Alt Store and Alt Server. That's another method. You can resign your applications. Also, another great tip when you first jailbreak your iPhone with a new jailbreak, let's say for iOS 15 when it's released, you want to be incredibly patient when it comes to your tweaks. You don't want to jailbreak, jailbreak your iPhone on a fresh new jailbreak and instantly jump into Cydia or Zebra and install 25 to 30 different tweaks. I can almost promise that's going to cause major issues because once the jailbreak is released, we still have to wait for tweak developers to update their tweaks for that version as well as they don't know when the jailbreak's coming out either. So just be extremely patient when you first jailbreak, install one tweak at a time and then try out that tweak, adjust the settings, play around with it, make sure it's operating normal. And as soon as you have noticed it's not causing any issues, then you can go back into Zebra and you can install another tweak and then rinse and repeat, try the tweak out, change its settings, mess around with it, make sure it's not causing any issues or any conflicts with other tweaks that you might have because tweaks can cause issues for other tweaks. So you just want to take it very slowly. You don't want to uh, batch install just a ton of tweaks at once. I promise it'll probably cause issues. So that's, a, that's an incredibly important tip. Now, for those of you that don't do that, that don't care, and you decide that you want to install 30 tweaks at one time, and then all of a sudden your jailbreak is, or your iPhone is just glitchy, it's crashing, uh, certain apps don't work, you can't do certain things, it's locked up, it's not working. What you can do is you can use the jailbreak utility to restore your file system. This will pretty much erase all of the jailbreak content that you have downloaded and allow you to start out fresh again, pretty much as if you just jailbroke it for the first time again. Uncover has this option. You go into the little gear in the upper left and you toggle on restore FS. So that's restore the file system. Turn that on and then when you re-jailbreak your iPhone, it will erase all of your tweaks and themes so that you can start out fresh. Uncover does this. Check Rain does this as well. Restore system that allows you to erase all the tweaks and themes on your iPhone and start out fresh. Taurine does this. All modern jailbreaks allow you to save your file system if you have installed too many tweaks and too many themes. So that's incredibly important. Watch out for that. Take your time with tweaks. Go slow. There's no need to install 30 at once. Now the next tip is to save your blobs. Now this is only going to pertain to people that have a computer because a computer is required to use your blobs. Basically you use your blobs with future restore and that is the whole purpose. So if you don't have a computer, there is pretty much no reason to save your blobs as you can't use it unless you have a computer. But for those of you that do wanna save blobs, I recommend saving blobs for pretty much every version of iOS. Just remember, once you hear Apple released a new version, save your blobs. And essentially what these blobs allow you to do is to update or downgrade your iOS version as long as the SCP and baseband is compatible. Now, for example, I don't wanna to get too technical about this in this video, but for example, this iPhone 10 is currently on 14.7.1. Now, if Uncover is updated and released for iOS 15.0 to 15.1, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Future Restore to update this iPhone to iOS 15.1. It allows you to update or downgrade to unsigned versions of iOS. Pretty much what it lets you do is jump from jailbreak to jailbreak. 
So from old jailbreak to a new jailbreak. And you must be jailbroken also to do this. You cannot... You can save your blobs for a non-jailbroken iPhone, but you cannot use Future Restore unless you are jailbroken as you have to set generators and stuff like that, which requires a jailbreak. So just some quick tips on blobs. I know a lot of people ask many questions about blobs because it's really quite confusing, but computer is required to use Future Restore. So if you don't have a computer, don't worry about blobs. But if you do, I will be doing tutorials as soon as the times come. To use them. I will probably show you guys how to update from iOS 14 with blobs up to iOS 15 to a, a target firmware and whatnot. And uh, that's pretty much the tips and the tricks I got for you guys. That is pretty much everything you need to know in terms of jailbreak prep. Now everything I mentioned in this video I will leave links for in the description. I will leave links for Alt Store. I will leave links for Reprovision Reborn. I will leave links for Future Restore and pretty much everything I mentioned so be sure to check that out. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. This has been IDM, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.